everyone if you downloaded the code from the github link below and if you launch it in uh, android studio or visual studio you will see a page like this now let's go ahead and take a look at the code so this is our code over here and this is the project structure i have a background image which is this one over here and apart from this uh, i have a main file and main file calls home page and home page is this one okay and so this is the basic content we have here and this part of the code is now responsible for showing the background image as you can see from here all right but once again this is very important for web page okay so what do we want to build first we want to build a navigation bar over here okay and to do that we can use uh we can use a, a property which is called app bar okay this is the pro property of scaffold and over here we can use app bar directly almost the app bar directly used for mobile devices or smaller devices but first we want to focus on desktop device and for desktop device we want to build our own uh, app bar you know, with different size and uh, with padding and width like that okay so we'll use preferred size this one this is a widget all right okay and uh, this takes few properties the first one is a preferred size property and over here you just mentioned the size of this uh, width which should be this one the complete width of this bar over here okay and height okay so let's go ahead and do it so we can call size widget or class and within it we'll use our screen size which is this one okay all right so screen size dot width all right so this returns the property which is width and at the same time it also needs height so in our case in general let's go ahead with 70 all right and at the same time it needs a child and this is the child actual child which is responsible for showing many buttons over here and their color like that or the decoration okay so that's what we need and uh, for now we'll call a class over here which is called top bar contents and uh, that's it okay and this class is or this widget is coming from over here and um, this is a very simple widget and for now it is a list of variables as you can see all set to false and uh, it has a container that returns and container has wrapped around padding expanded row pretty much like this uh, I'll explain it a bit later let's go ahead and run it and see the result okay so let's hit R and refresh it and then very soon it should be visible okay so this is what we have now okay yeah so it has this library and home things like that okay but uh, we want to achieve better result we want to have other menu bars over here okay all right so now let's take a look at this file once again so this returns a container and in the core of this container it returns a row and within the row it returns this library which is this one and uh, a style and then we have this inkwell and within inkwell we have this home home is this one all right and it also responds to hover over effect as you can see so what we could do we want to have more of these buttons over here like the demo we saw early so ink while you use if you need to hover over first hover over and click on a link like this but of course we are not clicking on it if you click nothing will happen because we are not doing anything related to on tap over here but in general you need ink while to uh, to be able to hover and click on a link like this as because as you can see there is on hover property and at the same time on tap and inkwell also takes a uh, child in our case the child this property has taken column widget we used column because uh, 
every text or menu should when we hover over on them it should sh show something or a line as you can see over here this black line okay so that's why we use column because if you use column we can use text this widget and the visibility this is the other widget okay visibility is also responsible for showing things or hiding things based on uh, your hover over property okay so that's why we use this uh, um, column widget okay now if you follow along and download the code you should have this what you could do we can copy paste these two lines okay and we'll create more of this okay so we'll copy paste like this on the hopefully four times all right okay uh, I think we also need to okay it's there okay now let's go ahead and run it hit R okay now it's all there now we have some slight problems first thing all the names are same and they're hovering uh, at the same time on all the menus so we need to change them so let's go ahead and first uh, I would say change the name all right so the name is uh, would start to change from here so instead of home we'll call it about and uh, over here for this one we'll, instead of home again we'll call it cooperate and the last one we'll call it uh, say contact okay now let's save it and run it okay now perfect it looks much better now now we need to change this hover over property because we, we are hovering on home but others are responding at the same time that's due to because equal property over here as i said earlier at the beginning so you, let's take a look at the first one first equal is this one okay here we have set hover over for the first one first variable or the first menu okay which is zero zero all right yeah now if we look at the second one which is over here it's also zero zero but the second one should be one and one all right so when we hover over it says to true otherwise it sets to false okay but now we are keeping track f using index for different menu buttons so zero is responsible for this one one is responsible for this two is responsible for this and three is responsible for this one the last one so zero one two three four are their indexes okay so let's go ahead and save them at this uh, uh, change them at the same time and uh, to do that we also need to change over here visibility property this one and once again is hovering this variable is coming from over here a list so for each variable we need two properties and at the beginning they're all set to false okay all right so once we hover over so we'll set it to true for the first one otherwise it would be false and for the second one once again if we hover over we'll set it to true or otherwise it'll set to false but for now everything is set to false okay I mean when we initialized it but as you can see over here the, I changed the code early so don't worry so just uh, over here this is the correct situation true false true false so when we hover it's true otherwise it's false okay yeah now so this is the home for home we have this state zero 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 okay for the next one it should be one one and over here it should be one okay second index and the same for the third one third one so the index is two two and over here we also need to change it to two and the uh, okay and the same over here and the last one so last one should be three three and three now let's save it and see the result okay now as you see um, I think so we might have mistake somewhere uh, when we corrected the index so let's go ahead and see so let's check it one by one from the beginning so over here we start from here okay all right i think we made a mistake here it should be zero and uh, the second one is for about one one okay correct and over here once again we i skipped that part okay uh, and we should be good to go i guess all right okay now let's hit our button and let's see it and uh, I guess the last one 
also has a problem because this index and this index I guess uh, we messed up so yeah this one it should be three okay perfect so now we are doing good all right now oh, let's see well now because I was trying to take extra space but uh, there is an extra space so that's why we say this one all right so we'll get back to the little later so what happened early so this hovering over it's quite important when you build a navigation verb in general once again I, let me tell you so you will have inkwell this one like this and within inkwell you will have on hover property and on tap because if you have on tap you can click and go to a new page but in this tutorial we are not doing that and if you have too many buttons so you have to keep the track of these buttons uh, using a list okay and each of the inkwell will have two properties as a true and false okay true means you hovered over it and if you didn't hover over it we set it to false but initially you can set all of them to false okay when you initialize all the buttons is hovering property in a list like we saw earlier at the top okay and then use this one the same one um, to hover over the text color change a different text color in my case I have used the same text color but definitely you can try to use a different one and at the same time within the visibility widget you must keep the track of is hover this uh, variable okay so if when it is a true then we would be able to say it okay so once again it's a true when you hover over and at the same time visibility this widget we would be able to see and we see that it's visible okay like this all right so next thing we want to do we want to hide this uh, menu because right now on on mobile on desktop on desktop it works better up to here but it's less than that we need to do something okay yeah so how do you do that we need to keep the track of the screen okay and we do it from here over here all right so right now this is just ready for desktop screen but not for smaller devices or mobile devices okay so over here we need to do a check conditional check what we would do responsive widget dot is small okay and then we'll send the context and then we'll see what it returns okay if it returns true because this is a pro conditional code it returns true or false if it returns true that means that this screen is small screen or mobile devices like that in that case we'll call this app bar this one okay otherwise we'll fall back to preferred size which is for desktop one okay all right and now you can ask what is this uh, thing or file so this is actually over here and uh, this is a class and this class checks your uh, screen is the big one or small one as you can see so we have a small larger and medium a lot of other different things over here but mostly we'd be using this one others are not very necessary but if you want to set up condition from different sizes you just come over here and change them okay so what it what it does it returns whether true or false based on this condition okay all right so now let's go back to our home page and uh, what we we'll do we'll save it and see the result okay so let's restart okay now let's see so if it's too small you see the error is gone uh, now we have a different kind of menu bar or app bar okay all right so now what I would do I'll, I'll put it over here and we want to have a customized app bar with a drawer over here it would be just like you saw earlier in the demo so we'd be able to click on it okay all right so now we need to get inside of this thing so it's pretty easy so first uh, what do you want to do we want to set up an icon for this one okay icon theme and we also want to set up a color for this one icon theme data all right and we'll set the color inside so color color so we'll use this this color over here the same color so we'll call OXFF 77 bd 7 all right okay now let's save it and see all right okay now this this should be visible for our drawer not really for this one and now let's check the background color so let's set up the background color 
so we'll use uh, once again say colors dot white and now let's save it see the result okay now this is our app bar color and this should be our theme color icon theme if we have a drawer icon over here we'll see a little later okay and now we have this one though but we can set the elevation to zero okay we don't want like that like just like the demo and uh, on the mobile phone if we have a title we want to set the title to true center true okay all right and what else let's see now we can really go ahead and set the title okay it's so a title and title will wrap it around a text and we'll call it library just like the demo okay now let's go ahead and save it and see the result okay now it should be somewhere here most probably it's white color so that's why we don't say it okay all right so now what do we do we can change the style so we'll say text style and now color color ox so what do we do we'll just copy paste this one now let's save it yes so now we see the color so it's the library right okay so we also want to show an icon over here like mm, so so th this is the color and now we want to style it further we want to use uh, say font weight font weight like font weight we'll use w900 okay perfect okay and let's uh, change the font size font size to say 26 perfect okay all right now take it back to originally for desktop so it's working perfectly and now for a mobile device as you see it hides it automatically okay and now next thing we want to do we want to show that icon over here okay drawer icon would we'll be able to click on it and show related information over here from the left side to do that we will use another property which is called drawer okay and from for drawer we'll call many drawer this one okay all right now let's save it and see the result okay so this is our drawer over here and which i said early this is the drawer color so if you see uh comment it out and restore it it's gone it's still there so we want to set up the color which we did early okay all right okay now let's restart it one more time I now see it's over here the drawer you click over here it's gone okay so now what is this file so this file is many drawer or this class and which is coming from this one and it's pretty easy it returns the drawer widget because you want to you want a drawer so that's why it returns the drawer. and within it we have the basic container and some styles as you can see from here all right and once again we we have used inkwell within the column and uh, after that we have this padding because we want to have too many menus between the menus we should have a line so this is a divider wrapped by padding so what we could do to make it more attractive we can just copy paste this all right and put it there yes so this inkwell we can change it the name to about and over here you can change the name to contact okay now let's save it and run it okay now let's open it yeah perfect so that's what we wanted to see now let's get back to the desktop mode all right so this is our desktop and uh, this is our mobile sorry once again so this is our mobile okay now what you could do you can also run it on the simulator and we'll see what happens okay yeah, so it on the simulator it would work more like an app, small app. Okay, so this is our mobile device and it's working. So the menu is there, right? But of course it needs further styling to get it done. But you get the idea, right? Okay, and once again, so our browser over here, it's working correctly. All right. So if you learned something, 
Don't forget to smash that like button and share the video. And don't forget to subscribe. Stay tuned for the next video. Thank you.